So I have, um, I would say I'm kind of a rogue user. I've got lots of devices that, that, that I own. I've got my personal cell phone. I got personal laptops. I got business laptops. I got computers. I got all sorts of stuff. I'm connecting to a network through a VPN most of the time. What, what, what are what are some of the security concerns around that? Yeah, I think the big ones that come up are you said you're a rogue user, and that kind of comes with its own kind of idea. But um, your company is allowing access to resources that are being secured over a VPN tunnel, but it's you're relying heavily on the security of your end device, right? So your personal cell phone it's probably not managed by your organization, and therefore you have a lot of freedom as far as what you do with it now. In most cases, it's going to be secure, but it's extending the trust of a trusted network to potentially unknown devices. And I think, you know, just piggybacking on what Tom said earlier, this explosion of people working remotely and working from home has, has increased the likelihood that someone's working from like a personal computer that may not be just theirs. It might be a shared computer for their family. And with that, there's a lot of risk with like applications that aren't typical in a corporate environment that could cause risk. Things like ransomware and malware potentially now have a direct tunnel into your, your corporate network um, through this secured tunnel. And so the conversation of VPN get, brings up an idea that like, hey, it's safe. And in a lot of ways it is, but there's also risk associated with giving that access. So we talk a lot about VPNs. I mean, it gets brought up a lot here and it's been brought up a lot in, on different conversations that Cam and I have had over, over the past month since the crisis started. And I know we're all kind of sick of hearing about you know, work from home and 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 sure. this crisis. But um, how 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 is a company supposed to handle a dramatic increase in VPN uh, users? Well, from a logistical yeah, think- point of, from a logistical point of view, if I can, JT, it's really uh, most of the things that go into it because of its scalability. The fact that it's subscription based, virtual by nature, makes it really easy for, for us to push through quotes and orders, get those uh, keys ready so that all they have to do is be issued for deployment. And deployment's pretty easy, right? Yeah, deployment's pretty straightforward. I mean, people, I think, highlighted how um, maybe they hadn't thought about remote connectivity as being part of their like disaster recovery plans. And how it's probably more exacerbated by. In most cases, businesses are like, well, 20 or 30% of our workforce ends up working remote. We have a plan for that, but not like 99% or 95%. So scalability became a real big concern. And then obviously today we're talking about security, but it's like what, what changes on the security standpoint from a security aspect when you're now extending your network to these remote devices. So it's a lot around the connection, but also around um, the, the next steps that help secure that connection. Certainly we've seen, you know, VPNs become even more important.